Caribbean people need to learn to eat what they grow and grow what they eat. That's the word from regional heads of government at the Agri-Investment Forum and Expo 2. Here with the details is Terry Ann Brown Campbell. Lowering the regional food import bill by 25% by 2025 is not enough. This is in light of rising food inflation and market conditions across the globe. This was the word from regional leaders as they opened the second edition of the Agri-Investment Forum and Expo. The first edition was held in Guyana on May 19th. Prime Minister of Barbados, Mayor Motley, said regional eating habits must change. The reality is that every major health site will tell you about the appropriate use of low glycemic foods. Most of that we grow here and we grow it, and our youngsters eat macaroni pie and fries. We've got to change that. We've got to work with the fast food organizations, Gervais, and get them to, to change their menu. CARICOM's government leader with responsibility for agriculture, President of Guyana, Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali, said the business community needs to step up and do their part. We have enough firepower in this region, within the private sector, to form a consortium and address the issue of transportation and fixing that problem. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said the regional universities also need to be involved in solving the issue of regional food security and nutrition. And I'm pleased to announce the excitement that I see among young people in Trinidad and Tobago in our programs here in Trinidad, where there's a Ministry of Youth Development, where already some of our young people have gone to Guyana and met their colleagues, and they're on the farm there, and they're excited to get it going. We need to support them. The Agri-Investment Forum and Expo 2 opened on Friday and will feature 330 exhibitors from across the region. The Expo is being held at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain and will end on Sunday. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TDD News. Meanwhile, there are a number of agricultural projects geared toward improving the agricultural sector regionally. That's according to Sean Bohr, Program Manager Agriculture and Agro-Industrial Development at the CARICOM Secretariat, who was among a panelist of experts discussing the region's food security following the launch of the Investment Agri-Forum 2 at the National Academy for the Performing Arts on Friday. He shared a number of projects currently underway. One has to do with de-risking the regional agricultural sector, looking at agricultural insurance for the region. That's an ongoing project. Looking at alternate sources of financing that uses private sector involvement and reduces the amount of sovereign support in terms of providing financing and funding. There's a second that looks at removal of non-tariff barriers. And when people think of food security, what also needs to be considered is nutrition security. This from Mawaya Elias, director of Empower Nutrition. When thinking about food security, that over 60% over of our population is suffering from the form of malnutrition that would be considered overnutrition. Mm. So how does that affect the conversation about food adequacy 